Kamusta mga buhay and maligayang pagbabalik sa akin chano. I've got a special one for you today. All right, we got at least two really really talented singers in my opinion joining forces for a freestyle session. I think it is a freestyle session. They call it kantahan session. Uh, we got Justin Vasquez, who I believe is the winner of uh, X Factor Australia, I think. I've reacted to his audition on, uh, on that show. And uh, we got Ricey. So she just joined Idol Philippines Season 2. And you know the love and admiration that I got for her uh, art, you know, for her talent. So I'm very excited about this. And I mentioned two, but it's actually three. I know three of these artists. We got also Arthur Neri. Okay, so the guy who sang Paxamo, the guy that I reacted to, uh, that was under the mask of GP on uh, Mask Singer Pilipinas, and he is a wonderful, wonderful artist. And there's a fourth uh, person called Jay Roa. I don't believe I've ever reacted to Jay Roa. I've seen the name, I think, but I'm not sure who that is. But people are telling me that uh, this person is also very talented. And uh, some of you actually sent me some links to uh, Jay Roa featuring uh, another artist and you want me to react to it. So. If he impresses me here, why not, right? And do not hesitate to tell me more about Jeroa in the comment section as usual. So, uh, this is a Kantahan session of the song Rainbow. Now, before we start, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Music Game News because that is where you can DM me your suggestions. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay. Oh, Justin Vasquez on his guitar. Yeah, he's a good guitar player. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay, wait, wait. We got, we got the full team here. Let me see if I can pause when he shows his head. There. Okay, so for those of you who don't know who we are dealing with, we got Justin Vasquez right here. We got Ricey right here. We got Arthur Neary, and I'm guessing this is Jay Roa. There you go. Now we can continue. Let's go. Yeah, he called him Jero, so. Hey. Not really. <laughs> Sheesh. Oh man, Jay, Jay Roa is talented. Yes, I want to know more about his talent. So we will react to his videos. Oh man, I feel like, okay. You know how I called uh, Daryl Ong, Katrina Velarde, uh, you know, but Michael Pangilinan and you know, the, the Avengers of the Philippines. 
I think we need a name for these guys because I feel like this is a group of extremely talented Filipinos as well. And when they come together like this, they create something special. So if there is the name of like, I don't know, popular uh, characters out there, we should find one for these guys. Like, does DC Comics also have their, uh, their group, you know, Superman, Batman, and I, I forgot their name, you know? But maybe we should give them that name. I want to hear Arthur Neri's falsetto. I don't think he hasn't sang yet. Holy. I mean, how did uh, Filipino, you know, networks or record labels not, you know, sign Ricey yet? Like, I feel, I feel it's, it's not right that she has to go on Idol Philippines season two, to, 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 to be seen more, you know, to be visible, to, to, to attract attention from like big companies you know because clearly for years um her fellow already popular filipino artist recognized her talent you know they've been collaborating with her and recording videos with her because they know she's that talented so companies must have been like well there is something there you know or just listen to us youtubers you know content creators I don't know, but it's she's clearly a talent, a huge talent, and I would not be surprised in the least if she won Idol of Philippine season two. Hey, Arthur. Hey. Trying to find the key. It's very pretty, right? But clearly it's not perfect because they keep trying to find the right note, right? To for the harmony, you know, and it's it's difficult when you're just freestyling like this. But once they find it, ooh, it feels like their voices really they blend really well together. there well now that you're here um, why don't you celebrate uh, for making it this far into this video by subscribing to the channel by turning on that notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos and of course and the most important thing to like this video because it does help out the channel tremendously and now if you don't mind I'm gonna go back to my business Arthur. She's got that R and B type of runs. You know what I'm saying? Like, wh why hasn't she made a, you know, I don't know, a cover or a song with Daryl Ong yet? I think those two would fit so well together. Ooh. Damn, they're killing me.
go. There you go. That Arthur Neary infamous or more like famous um, falsetto. Did you hear how perfect that falsetto was? I don't care. I don't care. Can you imagine them actually going in a studio in the booth and actually working on covering this song properly, all the four of them with their difficult, difficult, uh, different vocal textures and, you know, styles with their, you know, uh, their specific runs and stuff. Oh my God, this could be such a hit. I want them to do it. I mean, here they're just freestyling. Yes, it's not perfect, but when it works, it's just, just like you can hear the potential. And that's why I'm saying they should definitely get serious with it and record a cover, an amazing cover. I think that it would be fantastic. See, that was, that was off. Arthur Neary, how he went down the stairs, gosh, 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 gosh. I'm sorry, but there is so much potential in what they did here. If only, you know, they could do it seriously. I mean, I enjoyed the hell out of it, like seriously. But man, can you just imagine what they could do? <gasps> wow. You know, I would have loved to hear Justin Vasquez more because he is seriously a very talented artist and to be honest they did not mention the name of Ricey in the title which is very funny because I feel like she's the one who sang the most in this video you know um, shout out to Justin Vasquez for uh, his uh, guitar skills because man the dude can play and uh, I just loved the chemistry between them so Guys, if you are watching this video, think about it. Think about it hard, you know, and try to make a studio version of this. Mm. I'm telling you, if you do, it will it will reach the millions really fast on YouTube. That's for sure. It will go viral because damn, the blend of their voices is just smooth velvet, okay? 
Anyway, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on this. Maraming maraming salamat po. And if you have gotten a value out of this video, then you should probably check out my other reaction videos right here.